May we now invite Mr. Chan to give a speech. On behalf of 
DBS Our School and DBS Old Boys Association, I'd like to give a big congratulation to every one of you brothers of Great Ten. You have went through, as we understand, very vigorous and intensive four days and three nights leadership camp courses and trainings. And this is all about brotherhood, discipline, your spirit, and most importantly, your leadership. Because from now on, you all be our dialogues of DBS. You're in your senior forms. And really, I can tell you, as old boy, time flies. Before you know it, you'll be graduating from DBS. But you'll never be away from the bigger picture of our DBS community. As we always say, but so your leadership camp that you just graduated from now not only prepare you to be our dialogues of the school, but we all look forward to be able to pass our great DBS spirit and DBS fraternity to you all because you are our future leaders of our DBS community. So once again, a big congratulations, and also best wishes to your future endeavors. Take care, everybody. Take care, brothers. Congratulations again. Thank you, Mr. Chan. Please stay on stage. We will now invite the student representative of G10 to receive a certificate from Mr. Chan. May we now have Mr. Chan present the Outstanding Team Awards to the three deserving teams. The second runner-up award goes to Team 3. The first runner-up award goes to Team 4. And the champion award goes to Team 6.
May we have Mr. Chan receive a souvenir from our headmaster? Thank you, Mr. Chan and Headmaster. You may take your seat. May we now have the student representative present his speech on behalf of the Great Tens. Honorable guests, Headmaster, teachers, parents, and fellow students, Thank you all for joining us at the Leadership Training Camp Passing Out Ceremony. I'm Clement Kern from 10D. I'm honored to be on stage today to share my feelings and reflection after this Leadership Training Camp. First of all, thanks must be given to our coaches and teachers who support us in the camp. We would not be able to stand here without their help. I bet every Form 4 student standing right here is feeling exhausted and tired. However, we feel more mature and grown up. This camp has taught us some essential moral values which are very useful for our future. Our slogan, which is printed behind our training tee, we do not promise that we will never fail. We only promise that we will never fail to try, gives an all an idea as to what we have learned in the camp. Nothing is impossible as long as we try our best. There are no limits for us as long as we try. Keep on trying and never give up. This is what we can do and what we need to do when we face challenges. We sweat, we tried, we failed, and got up again. And finally, we made it here at this passing out ceremony successfully. We were put through an array of activities over the past couple of days. There are some significant activities which I remember the most. First of all, there was the basic foot drill training, which was basically marching. How do we manage to march in such a united fashion in just three days of training? Obeying orders and being disciplined are the keys. As we all know, DBS has a very liberal attitude in the way it treats students very freely, and we can do what we desire to do most of the time. Therefore, it may create an illusion to us that we're smart enough to manage everything. It turns out that sometimes we may be impolite or rude to our teachers and even parents. We may be disobedient as we think that by just wearing the DBS suit or school tie, we were automatically the best of the best. However, this iconic activity has taught me that listening to orders and following rules are extremely essential and important. There are so many commands such as fall in, dressing, turning, and quick march. It all seems very trivial when you first hear such commands and you may think it can be done easily. However, if one person makes a single mistake, it will affect other team members and then we will have to repeat it again until we did it correctly, close to perfection. We are expected to gather information and react to words of command from our coaches. It requires instant obedience, deep concentration, and teamwork. It was tough, to be honest. However, hard work does pay, and we are all pleased and satisfi satisfied when we see the results that we have made in the passing out ceremony. Secondly, the rope course adventures and the high wall were particularly memorable. They are challenging outdoor personal development and team building activities. It requires bravery and confidence on both the individual and the group level. Team leaders had to think quickly, precisely, and be bold enough to voice out the commands. All other team members were required to coordinate with each other closely in order to go through all the obstacles. At first, all the events seemed impossible for us to solve, and we were all moaning to our coaches. However, with the support of coaches and teammates, we were all able to follow the slogan behind our training team, which I've mentioned before. We tried and we failed. We failed and we learned, and finally, we learned and we succeed. Once again, nothing is impossible. We will never know our limits unless we have done our best. All the high walls or, and rope course activity seemed impossible at first. However, now we can tell you, DBS boys have no limits. The activities that I've mentioned are actually not the key point, but the people who stayed beside us, supporting and suffering with us are. I finally got to experience our brotherhood, which our seniors and teachers have always emphasized. Even though the programs are tough and the activities are energy draining, with the support of one another and the DBS spirit that we have got, 
we were still able to grit our teeth and overcome one challenge after another. Even upon returning to our daily routine, we can also use what we've acquired during the camp and face our challenges in front of us bravely and squarely, preferably with our brothers. Whether we face an inter-school competition, sit a normal school exam, or even a major public exam, we do not have to be afraid as we will never walk alone. We will back each other up to comfort them and to assuage their fears. To serve and to lead is always a mission that our teachers exhort us to do. Before the camp, you may all doubt our ability, asking how these so-called G10 students could still be our future leaders. They are not even mature enough. To be honest, I do agree with you before. However, I'm really sure that after this leadership training camp, we have changed, we are different, and we have evolved. We are no longer childish and naive kids anymore, but mature adolescents who are able to listen, to obey, and to lead. We are able to judge between rights and wrongs and are all already ready to become the next leaders of DDBS. All of us are very grateful to have been given such an opportunity to learn a lifelong lesson in just a couple of days. I surely believe that there will be no other activities ever again in the future that can gather the whole form to suffer and to learn together. Before the camp, when people ask me what was my most memorable experience when I was at DBS, I would have hesitated for a while, unable to figure out the answers. However, if you ask me the same question once again now, my answer would definitely be going to be the leadership training camp. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Please stay on stage. We now invite our headmaster to present a souvenir to the representative of the trainers, Mr. Lai. Thank you, Headmaster, Mr. Lai, and the student representative. Now, may we invite Mr. Chan again to dismiss the parade. Sir, so, yeah, you have to have to go to four hours. Sir? So. Yes, please proceed. Thank you, sir. So.